Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Period Cube. Today we are just starting on Demento's route. Ah, uh, and I have to add this to these first videos. It turns out that Demento and Astrum share a route up to a certain point, and Demento doesn't actually show up for a while. So I'm gonna label these first couple of videos Astrum slash Demento's videos until we diverge into Demento's storyline. Ah, uh, so I'm gonna try to get these out of the way as fast as possible, because I really want to get to Demento. And we're going to be doing some forwarding, some skipping scenes that we have previously read. But I will let you know the choices that we make in order to get Demento's route. Because the very first couple choices you make actually put you on the character path very quickly. So let's start out with some skipping. And our first option, we use the knife. For the second choice, you must use the harp, which is already a new one for me, so I'll have new text. Harp away! I can play music! There was a small harp in my bag. My role in this game is a minstrel, so I should use this. There has to be a function here that'll let me use a skill like Curia. Character, map, items, class skill. I touch class skill, and colorful text appears in front of my eyes. But I have no idea which is which. Hey, what are you doing? Just hurry up and... I selected one without even looking. Ah, oh, great strategy. Please work! Random spell. G grr. It got slower. Let's go, before its speed reverts. Okay. Run, run as fast as you can. Ah, so it puts us on Astrum's route. Yes, Astrum and Demento share quite a bit of route, apparently. So don't worry about the fact that, uh, you'll see Astrum in the background some of this stuff. But we truly are on Demento's route. Huh. Huh. Grrr. We haven't run far enough. <laughs> Damn it. It's no use. We'll never outrun him like this. You go hide by the rocks. I know, but... Thank you for earlier. But at your current level, skills will barely have an effect. Yeah, so it totally didn't make any sense at all in Zane's when, like, we're in the arc and my boost actually did something. Or were they just being nice? They're like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for that lovely boost you gave us. Sorry, I've been totally useless. Idiot, of course you're weak now. There's no way a person who just started would be powerful enough. Honestly, it was ballsy of you to bust out a skill like that without even knowing how the controls work. Rah! He's just come to join the conversation, you know? <laughs> just standing there right next to Hiroya. Uh, Leave the rest to me. I'll find a way to defeat it. Hiroya faces the monster, fists up. Hiroya got lucky earlier, but if I'm too close, I'll be in the way. It hid behind the rocks, as I was told. Please be okay, Hiroya. I'm so close, but I can't do anything. Is there something else I can do aside from combat to help Hiroya? Ugh, damn it. Hiroya! Oh, I'm playing the harp again. Ah, oh, I guess I boosted him. This is... Rally, increase ally strength. However, the increased value will depend on the user's level. Exactly! So my level 2 rally probably didn't help too much in... <laughs> The other route. <laughs> Please work, even just a little. Alright, I'll do this one more time. So, you are the Almighty. Uh, who's there? Oh, I figured it was Astrum. An angel? His wings are massive. Hmm, clearly you're unfit for the Almighty. <laughs> Roar! There's no time for this talk. Surprised that it'd be such trouble. Yeah, yeah, just deal with the bear. The sword he has, it's so pretty. The blade was glowing with power and enveloped everyone in soft light. Huh. Gah! He's so powerful. This was the enemy that caused you to leave behind the almighty Amadeus. I, I'm so sorry. You, 
You're the one who attacked us earlier. Then you must be the player who has the Almighty. And you must be the ringleader of those jerks who ran off and left us to deal with the enemies. Oh, I suppose I could apologize for that. I'm sorry. Oh, you suppose, do you? However, wouldn't you agree it was for the best that they called for me? If you were fighting on your own, I'm sure you would have died by now. Oh, ye of little faith, he had me. Boosting him with my level one rally. Well. So, where's the Almighty? It's that woman. It's rude to point. Hmm. They're looking at me. So, you're the Almighty Amadeus. Yep, that be me. Pleased to meet you. Oh, what a beauty. What are you blushing for already? We just met. Huh? Excuse me, my subordinate was rude to you earlier. Won't you allow me to apologize, Almighty Amadeus? My name is Astrum, leader of the Elite Angel Guild, Clarius. Astrum kneeled in front of me and took a deep bow. Oh, I like that. It was like just the perfect, just the perfect lowering for a bow. Uh, um, please, you don't have to. I'm Kazuha. Thank you for saving us. It was really a close call. No need to thank me. You took actions into your own hand and protected yourself. Huh? What do you mean? The sound of your harp led us to you. My harp? I heard from my subordinates that you were a minstrel. ID search only lets us know the approximate location. If we hadn't heard your music, it would have ended badly. Wait a minute. ID search? How do you guys know her ID? It's in the announcements. Although new. It's obvious that she is an Arcadia player, no? And don't tell me you haven't read the system message. Well, we've been kind of busy since we got in. System message? Come to think of it, we did get another one. Hiroya rushed to his menu, and I opened my message screen as well. About World V, the Trinity of Swords. To the Divine Blade of Light and the Infernal Shadow's Edge, we've added the final item, the Almighty Amadeus. The Almighty's ID is the following. This is... Kazuha's ID. My ID? Look at your character screen. I opened the screen and my eyes searched for a place that said ID. A long string of numbers followed. You're right. It's the same one from the message. This was sent as a system message. No wonder she was targeted. And so you finally understand. Under my ID showed more text. Class, Minstrel, Race, Almighty. But I selected Therian, like Hiroya. Why is it Almighty? But why? Why did she end up becoming an Almighty? She's just a new player. Perhaps it's the wish of the creator of this horrible game. How it became doesn't matter now, but there's only one thing us players can do. We must face this challenge and wield the Almighty against the Ark. There's no way we could take her there. What kind of place is the Ark? It's a dungeon for high-level players. I haven't been there yet. If we take you without any plans, it'll be instant death on the first floor. Instant death? You need the Trinity of Swords, the Divine Blade of Light, and the Infernal Shadow's Edge, wieldable by any class. Any class? Is that really possible? For the ultimate weapon, of course. Is that sword? The Divine Blade of Light. It's so pretty! That pretty sword is the Divine Blade. Exceptionally capable in battle, with special damage bonuses against the creatures dwelling in the Ark. It is able to banish darkness, highly effective toward the undead. Are you serious? Amazing! Well, I can't be certain of the stats of the Shadow's Edge, but it is the antithesis of the Divine Blade, equal in power. The Almighty that was introduced later on may be even more powerful than the Divine Blade and the Shadow's Edge. But when I battled, I was totally useless. Well, forget that for now. With a sword like that in game, what would happen? The three swords will clear the arc. If we engage in battle there, we may see their special abilities. Then we should try it. Definitely not. Why not? Did you forget, you idiot? Your life is on the line. Yeah, our life is on the line if we stay here, too. He's right. The player who was defeated by the monster from earlier died right before our eyes. I don't want to die. I remembered his scream 
and a shiver went down my spine. Taking her would be too dangerous. I agree. We cannot afford to lose the third key sword so quickly. Every player's life is on the line. They're doomed without the Almighty. So, power level me. Come on, guys. Let's get training. If I remember correctly, the system message said, If you clear the Ark, you can escape World V. And the Trinity of Swords, including the Almighty Amadeus, are the key. If I'm really the Almighty, I might be useful eventually. Here I am, was it? I assume you fully understand the weight of the situation. So, hand over Amadeus, this instant. Hand over? She's not a thing. And besides, you have no business bossing me around. And based on your level and stats, you couldn't possibly handle the Almighty. What do you mean, handle? But perhaps you could be our servant. What did you say? Yuria is my friend. Please don't talk to him like that. But it's the truth. There's no way he'd be fit to be your partner. As you are the Almighty. Cut it out. Almighty, Almighty. He's a person, you got it? I appreciate that you saved us, but please just leave us alone. Well, then, let me ask you this. Could you protect Amadeus if need be? I will. I'll figure something out. As I told you earlier, the lives of all the players on World V depend on her existence. We can't afford to put Amadeus at risk just to accommodate your pride. You bastard. Oh, don't fight now. Injured yet still so energetic. Ugh. Here ya! I'm knocked out just from this, and it also seems that he's still receiving damage from the poison. Poison? His HP will continue to deplete, unless you cure it. Left as is, he'll die. No! Perhaps he didn't want you to find out. What a pathetic display of bravado. Bravado? No, it's not that. I think he just didn't want to worry me. I said don't talk about him like that! Listen to me. I said don't talk about him like that. Amadeus. You're very powerful, and I'm really grateful you saved us. Exactly. It was I who rescued you. But please, don't talk down to Hiria. He fought with everything he had. He's weak, and that is why he's injured. That's all there is to it. In this world, results are what count. Because Hiria fought so hard, you were summoned and I'm still alive. That was the result. Oh, I see your point. His reckless desperation made you play your music, and that led me here. Will someone hurry up and heal him? Sir. Astrum. If it's your desire, I, Astrum, vow to treat him well. Thank you. However, I can't afford to have such a low-level player protect you. You are a special existence here. He should request help and let you go. Why can't we just all go together? What's the problem with that? But I really don't have the powers that would warrant your saying that. If I had that power, then I could have prevented Hiria from getting hurt. There's no mistake that you were the Almighty. As unfair as this world may seem, not once has it lied to us. If your Almighty powers didn't awaken in the face of danger, there must be other conditions to fulfill. If I'm able to find out what they are, we may be able to leave this world. Astrum suddenly took my hand. Astrum? Come with me, Amadeus. Sorry, I got somebody darker in mind at the moment. He kissed my hand. I nearly pulled my hand back in surprise, but Astrum held it tightly. Uh, um... No scar shall grace this hand. I will protect you, and soon enough we shall clear the Ark together. <laughs> Let's see him just rise in the background there behind the wing. Hey, look over. Here ya. You should have stayed unconscious. I said let go, you perverted angel. <laughs> After I healed your wounds, demon. I never asked you to. If it weren't for Amadeus, you would have been. Both of you, stop fighting. But he... Vulgar fighting is below my standards. And yet you were. What do you mean, vulgar? Please stop! Oh. Oh. Watch out, Amadeus. Sorry, I felt dizzy. Hey, stop touching her. 
What, do you want to just let me fall on the ground? And how might I catch her, then? Uh, um, I'm fine, really. You idiot. You don't look good at all. Your face is all pale. I just felt dizzy. I don't feel bad, though. You must be tired. You should lie down and rest. Astrum gently laid me on the ground. Why? Why does Kazuha have to go through all this? Because my brother's a dick? I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. You don't need to apologize, idiot. He did nothing wrong. I should be the one apologizing. I couldn't do anything. Damn it. No, not at all. You did so much to protect me. Thank you. Jeez, you haven't changed at all. You're too nice. Well, but I really am thankful. All right, I got it. It's true. <laughs> Dismantle the camp and move it here. Prepare Amadeus' sleeping grounds now. Yes, sir. Bring her something warm to drink. Hey, thanks for doing all this. Oh, so you've softened up a bit. What happened to that attitude? Well, it's true that I lack skill. I admit that my attitude earlier was because I was jealous of your strength. And, er, thanks for coming to the rescue. No need to thank me. I just saved Amadeus. You just happened to be with her. I know, so thanks for saving her. I just did what was obvious. She is this world's treasure. Besides... Besides what? No, nothing. You might as well rest up too. If something were to happen to you, our kind Amadeus would be saddened. Alright, I will. It's not like I'm not tired. Magic and items only cure injuries, but fatigue won't recover without sleep. Man, if it's a game, they should make this easier. It's weird how real it is. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if we didn't have to sleep. Their voices feel far. Amadeus, are you still asleep? Not anymore. Thanks for waking me up. Astrum said something just now? Forgive me for waking you. It's okay. You can continue sleeping if you wish. My subordinates and I will protect you. His voice is so kind. Uh, why did he wake me up for that? He put a gentle hand over my eyelids. So... And don't worry and just sleep, my beloved Amadeus. Mm. You awake, Kazuha? Here you are? You look way better. I feel much better after sleeping. How about you, Here you I feel better too. I'm so glad. You don't have time to worry about me. I was just tired, but you were injured really badly. That was nothing. That's a lie. It had to hurt. Well, yeah, but they healed me with magic. If they didn't heal you, you could have died. The way Astrum says things may sound harsh, but please don't push yourself. I know you did all these things to save me, so I shouldn't complain, but I'm still worried about you. All right. Yesterday I sort of couldn't help it, but I'll try my best to be careful now. Yeah? If I had known this was going to happen to us, I would have leveled up more. No, I'm the one who should have leveled. I couldn't feel anything. Even being the Almighty, I kept holding you back. You're not at fault. You're not at fault at all. But when I think about what might have happened to you if Astrum hadn't come, it scares me. Ugh. You've awoken, Amadeus. Good morning, Astra. Your complexion looks much better. <laughs> Just slip right in there between us. Hey, what the heck are you doing hugging her like that? Uh, Astrum? Well, I was so scared this whole time. I kept thinking, what if she never wakes up? Let her go, pervert. The little demon did not get in our way. Well, excuse me for being a demon. What do you mean, in our way? What's wrong with you? Uh, um, Astrum? Can you let go of me now? I'm fine. Thanks to you, I feel way better. Oh, huh, such a kind voice. Let me see her face under the sunlight. Amadeus, oh, my angel. Whoa, his face is so close. Oh, I cannot afford to lose you. Come to the Celestial Palace with me. A little dramatic, aren't you? The Celestial Palace? That's the angel's base. You will be surrounded by our elites. 
Not one enemy can pass our borders. You'll be able to rest with no worry. I will protect you from all hardship. I promise you. Um, well then, I do have one request. Would you hear me out? Hey, Kazuha. If it's a request from Amadeus, I will ensure that it is done. Please, let me take Hiryo with me, then I'll go. Huh? <laughs> he packed it up. <laughs> him too. Yes, please. Don't ask him that. There's no way I'd go to that place. Don't be so stubborn. Let's ask for help. If we die, then it's all over. Besides, we need to find my brother. Well, your brother? I briefly explained the situation with my brother. How he went missing after leaving a message to watch out for World V. And how he got sucked in here by logging in from his computer. Completely, totally ignoring the warning. Amadeus, so you're saying your brother may know some secrets about World V. I don't know if he does or how much. But all we know is something's up. Very well, then. Here you was it? I will allow you into the Celestial Palace. I never said I was going. If you would prefer to leave Amadeus behind, that would be more desirable. Don't be so cocky. I'll ask you again. Can you really protect her by herself? <laughs> I'm assuming there are still plenty of people trying to reach Amadeus. To top it off, there are different and far greater spawn points and enemies here compared to ordinary servers. I assume you already know how difficult of a task it would be to be able to protect her from all that by herself. <sighs> Hiroya fell silent and looked down. I'm sure he's really upset, but if we die, then it's all over. And if we're always being chased, then Hiroya's injuries won't have a chance to heal. I'm sure of it. And I want to be stronger too, at least strong enough not to be a burden. Fine. It's true that I won't be able to protect Kazuha in my current state. Hiroya. Hey, Angel, can I really trust you? I swear to God, at Amadeus' request, I will brave even the greatest of tasks. Well, not so much with you. <laughs> I suppose I can assure your safety in the palace. That's fine. I can take care of myself. I can at least get to that point. Huh. So what's the deal? We shall return home with haste. Prepare yourselves. Are you guys going to carry us and fly? <sighs> Hiria? Sorry I went so far. It's fine. You're not wrong. And besides... I'm a demon player, so I've never been to the Celestial Palace. I'm kind of interested. Really? It's a part of the map that's always been great to me. Of course I'm curious. You must love playing these games. Well, that aside, I hate to admit it, but I need to gather information and level up too, or I might die in vain. If he isn't bluffing, then I'm sure we'll be safe in the palace. And also, he's super powerful. <laughs> You're so competitive. Shut up. But I'm so glad. It's really nice to know someone is helping us. I'm sure we'll work it out. Eventually. Quest 2. Oh, I hope Demento shows up soon. Well, at least we've actually seen Demento in Zane's route. <laughs> I have a princess room. Mm. Are you away? This voice. You are sound asleep. What are you doing in my bedroom? Huh? You should lie down a while longer. I tried to sit up. He gently pushed my shoulder back. The sun's rays, a comfy bed, and a caring voice. The room was full of gentleness, and I felt my worries melting away. You must have been quite tired. Make sure to take care of your body. This is the Celestial Palace. No one will harm you here. That's right. Yesterday I arrived here with Hiroya. After a few days' journey, we finally reached the Celestial Palace. I'm sorry, where is Hiroya? Surely on the palace grounds, as his wounds have already been tended to. Oh, good. <laughs> is Astro actually angry that I asked? He looks pretty mad. Just what sort of relationship do the two of you have? We're childhood friends. 
He helped me a lot during this whole situation with my brother gone missing. When we tried to look for information in the game, I sort of came with him. Well, that explained your level. I see. I now understand the situation. I thought we explained it earlier. However, I don't like him. You shouldn't tell a girl that about her childhood friend. It's not nice. Parading around as your protector when he's simply a childhood friend. Simply? Childhood friends are important. No, I couldn't do anything on my own, so Hiryo was worried about me. They are an irreplaceable being here. The Trinity, the Almighty, is said to be the symbol of her wish to escape. The Divine Blade I hold and the Shadow's Edge both are incredibly far above the other weapons in this world. True, they possess strength, but it's their light that gives people hope. I remembered when I first saw Astrum and the Divine Blade. I was so taken by its beauty that I'd forgotten where I was. Similarly, your smile shines a light of hope onto us, lifting our spirits. My smile? And with your smile at my side, I believe I can overcome any manner of difficulty. You're totally just flirting. Your existence is a tremendous power. Hold your head high and smile, Omdeus. Smile? To keep smiling, that's the thing I can do, even as I am now. With my level being as low as it is, I can't use the power of the Almighty. There are still so many things I don't know and can't do. If that's the case, I should at least do what Astrum asks of me. I understand. I'll try my best. It is truly a nice smile, Amadeus. But, Astrum, could you try and get along with Hiroya? What is this all of a sudden? I think Hiroya is also uncomfortable. That's why he can be stubborn. But I'm sure he thinks of you as someone really dependable. I'll try, as it is no other than you who requested. Thank you so much. I'm so glad we met someone as strong as you, Astrum. That's right, flattery will get you everywhere with him. You have a talent for praising others. Then um, would you be willing to listen to one more request of mine? Depends on what it is. Yes, of course. Please let me see more of your smile. Huh? Your gentle sleeping face was cute. Uh? But I cannot ignore your waking expressions of cheerfulness as well. <sighs> oh, why do you look away? Look at me. W well, you're too close. Come, Amadeus. I finally raised my head, and there was Astrum's gentle face. Well, I'm sure in the past we must have... Huh? No, it's nothing. I'm going to touch you a little. You're not even going to ask, you're just telling me you're going to do it. <laughs> Eek! You didn't even give me a ring like Zane first. I'm able to treat it with magic. Is there any pain left? I'm fine. Why didn't you heal me before then, if I was injured? Hmm. It seems the wound was healed. Where did I get a wound anyway? As you rested so peacefully... I felt my heart would seize up if I found even the slightest trace of a scar on your skin. I wonder why I wasn't able to come to you sooner. He was watching me while I slept. Uh. I apologize. Does it, does it still hurt? No, I'm fine. I was just surprised. Really? You're always so considerate. Are you sure you're not holding back? I, I really am fine. I bought medicine to ease any pain. I'll put some on you just in case. Um, Astrum? It may be cold at first, not for long. Uh, as Astrum's finger touched my skin, I felt the heat from his fingertip. Where the heck is he touching me anyway? This feels kind of strange. Is your wound reacting? No, it's... Uh, I can do it myself. Get off me. I can do it myself, please. Let me have the bottle. No. <laughs> huh? Well, I wish to heal it with my own hands. Recovery magic can heal any sort of wound, but pain and fatigue remain. And this is called an elixir, and it is the most powerful cure-all in the game. It even has the effect of alleviating pain from injuries. I feel kind of lightheaded. You look as if you're at such peace. Do you like how the medicine feels? Yes, er, no. You're so adorable. I wish this could heal the wounds in your heart as well. 
What makes you think I have wounds in my heart? Now then, spread your legs a little. If you keep your knees together so tightly, I won't be able to reach in between. Just where are you trying to reach? Um, but actually, let me... Hey. Good timing, Hiroya. It's not Astrum's route yet. He's trying to supersede his route. Oh, Hiroya. You perverted angel. Where do you think you're touching her? What a boorish man you are. I've done nothing vulgar. I'm simply tending to her wounds. Shut up. Just get away from her. Fool, how rude. Release me. I'm the one who'll take care of her. <laughs> Hiroya wants to put the elixir on me instead. As if I could leave Amadeus to such a shameless man like yourself. That's what I should be saying. Stop fighting, you two. We are not fighting. <laughs> Could have fooled me. Alright, we're gonna stop there. Oh, this game is very amusing. And I'm sorry Demento is not showing up. Like I said, a good part of Demento's uh, route is along Astrum's, but I'm not sure how long. Hopefully he'll show up in the next video, so I'm sorry that this is Demento's first video, but he's not in it. Hopefully Demento will show up next. So, hope to see you in the next video to see. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do you really signing out? Bye-bye, everybody.